In this video, we'll be taking a look at MAC addresses, MAC spoofing, and why people spoof their MAC addresses. Let's get right into this. So a MAC address is a unique identifier attached to your network interface controller, so your NIC on your device. So MAC addresses identify your device and they are usually unique per device. And this means that a MAC address can only be assigned to a device that has a NIC. So let's take your laptop, for example. Your laptop has an Ethernet and has a Wi Fi adapter. So this means your laptop has two network interface controllers, and your laptop would by default have two MAC addresses. So here's what a MAC address looks like. It's usually a 12 digit hexadecimal number, and this is unique to every device. So let's take a look at MAC address spoofing. So MAC address spoofing is a technique used to change your MAC address from the default factory assigned MAC address. So um, your hardware manufacturer will usually assign hard coded MAC address on your NIC and MAC address spoofing just allows you to temporarily change this MAC address. Uh, so people change MAC addresses for different reasons. Some people change this to be able to bypass access control lists on servers or routers. Some people change their MAC addresses to impersonate another device on a local network in order to perform certain man in the middle attacks. And yeah, MAC addresses are limited to your local network and you can't like really perform any attack or a criminal can perform any attack with your MAC address outside of your local network. So MAC addresses are limited to your local area network and this is good and this is something you should know. So let's take a look at how you can change this on your Linux machine and we'll take a look at how you can change this on your Windows machine. Let's get right into this. So I have Kali loaded up on VirtualBox here and to check your MAC address, you can just type in ifconfig. We have our ETH0, which is our Ethernet and our MAC address will be the number after ETA. So that's this number here. And that's how you check your MAC address on a Linux system. So the tool we'll be using to change our MAC address is called MAC Changer. So MAC Changer, we put in dash H for help. We can see all the options here. Dash S to show your current MAC address. You can use dash A to set a random MAC address of the same kind. Dash A to set a random MAC address of any kind. You can use dash P to reset your MAC address to the original MAC address. You can use dash R to generate a random MAC address. So here's how you want to change it on your Linux machine. So first let's type in sudo MAC changer dash S, then your interface, which is ETH0. So let's put in our sudo password. And this is our current MAC address. And this is our permanent MAC address. So to change this, the command you want to put in is MAC address changer dash R. I'm going to change this to a random MAC address. So if you are doing this on your Linux system, you, you might want to bring down the network interface first, change the MAC address, then bring back the network interface. So you'll be able to get access to the internet. So you might want to use a command like sudo service network manager stop, then sudo ifconfig eth0 down. Then now you can change your MAC address sudo MAC changer, a random one eth0. And here's my current MAC address. Here's my permanent MAC address, and this is the new MAC address. 
so let's bring our network interface back up let's start this so service network manager start and let's bring back our interface so i have config eth0 i'm going to bring this up then let's check i have config and you can see we have a new mac address here so that's how you want to change your mac address on a linux machine you can apt install mac changer if you don't already have it on your machine so if you are doing this in a virtual machine you might have it might still have issues with your internal connection but you can always change your mac address from the virtual machine settings let me show you how to do this so while your virtual machine is off you can go to the machine settings then the network settings then you can change the mac address of the particular network adapter you are using so that's how you change the mac address on a virtual machine so you want to do this if you are using a virtual machine instead of using mac changer but if your machine is directly on your device and not a virtual machine you can use mac changer to change your mac address so that's how you do it on a linux machine let's take a look at how you can do this on a windows machine so the same command if you want to find your uh, mac address on your windows machine you just use ifconfig dash all so let me open a new tab here so we are not distracted and we'll just have this as the background so ifconfig dash all this shows you all your network adapters and the physical address will be your mac address so for my wi-fi this is my current mac address this so that's how you check your mac address on a windows machine ifconfig dash all so the software we'll be using to change our mac address on this windows machine is called uh, the technetium mac address changer version 6 you can get this from here i'm going to leave a link to this in the description below so just download this extract this install this and open this and let's take a look at this so all our network connections are listed here i'm just going to change the mac address of ethernet 2 so you just click on the particular interface you want to change and you can select a random address and it just shows you um, which one it is or you can pick from the list here you can have the option to make your new mac address persistent so this would like try to um, permanently assign this mac address to that interface until you restore the original mac address so i'm not going to make this persistent and i'm just going to change this now so remember this ends with ef let's change this changing mac address and we've changed the mac address and now this ends with fe so that's how you change your mac address on your windows machine i'm going to click on this interface and restore the original mac address so we have our original mac address back up most modern devices automatically change your mac address for you for security purposes like the ones we mentioned earlier in the video and you usually might not need to change your mac address for daily use as your device already does this for you so if you go into your windows settings for example and you search random hardware addresses you have this option to randomize your mac address and windows will do this for you so yeah that's all about mac address and mac address spoofing i hope you learned something from this if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions about this leave them in the comments below if you want to check out some security tools on the cloud hillbytes offers some ones you can use for free go fish for your phishing simulations socks 5 proxy on aws for bypassing internet censorship and having a private connection and you can also check out hillbytes vpn with fire zone on aws i hope you're having a great day i'll see you in the next video bye